sorry that it took so long, fam. Hey, how are you going? Two of my faves. <coughs> Just dying. Whatever you are. I know that we would probably get more views if we put on makeup and put in the effort to actually be like, ah, la 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 la. <laughs> but makeup is annoying on my face. <coughs> Janky! No, oh, you don't need makeup to look pretty. <laughs> That helps. Okay. I didn't even bother to clean the couch behind me. <laughs> yes, he does. That's not very nice, Jakey. Lucky you guys have some sick banter. How you doing, The Rock? How you been? It's been a while. Are you feeling better? Just launching the game real quick. Okay. Well, we got a lot of tabs open. I do remember you. How have you been? Are you feeling better? Have you fully recovered? Should work. There we go. No game. I guess this is the start. Oh, really? Is it still making you sick? I thought for sure you, you would have like fully kicked it by now. But you got the Delta strain, didn't you? Getting back to stunting. That's good. I'm glad. Days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Don't tell me how to live my life. Good. It's <laughs> the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Am I a robot or There's a person? A painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Excuse me. Don't tell me how to live my life. I guess that's what this game is all about. What do you mean there's a painting on the wall? There is a framed painting. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Much better. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Did you really? Holy shit. That's intense, man. I'm sorry about that. Glad you're starting to feel better. Because anybody that's getting it now is getting the Omic Omicron or whatever it's called. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door at this time? At any time? That voice sounds familiar. Oh, God. You look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are you... Don't answer that. Who is that? Is that a comedian? There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all I say. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Okay. The voice is either like You're right um. Can you hear me? Oh, who was the dude I was watching on Netflix? The dude from. 
um, death at a funeral. Do experience some, uh, it's like to join the others. A few months in suspension. Or... Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of... Ricky Gervais's friend. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to Ricky that. Gervais because and... Is the proper reaction to being told... The tall guy. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I'm not even listening to you, sir. No, I'm li I'm just listening to who your voice is. And I really do have to find this out. Um, So there's Ricky Gervais and Steve... Is it... No, that's... I was thinking... Not Steve. Um, you know... Do you know who I'm talking about, fam? Do you guys already know who the voice is? Because it's fucking driving me crazy. Total two voice actors. Stephen Merchant! Yeah, Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. It's their, they have this podcast and they do every, almost everything together. Fuck, that's going to drive me mad. All game now. I'm going to think it's fucking Stephen Merchant. Do you want to have it? I'll show you a picture of Stephen Merchant because I'll just be fucking... Picturing his face and um, let's just, oh my God, which one, they're, <laughs> they're all creepy, Miles is so creepy. Um, copy link, there we go, okay, back into stream elements, here you go fam, holy shit. That is an intense reaction. Um, also, this is the face of the dude that I was talking about. See, if I can click it, then you can click it. I can click it, then you can click it. I clicked it. Oh, wait, I went to BBC Radio. Wait, did it show you the picture? Yep, it does. Creepy smile. He's written, I think he was a co-writer of The Office, wasn't he, originally? The UK one? I don't know, but he was definitely, he's written a lot of things with Ricky Gervais. Anyway, let's get back to the fucking Stephen Merchant robot. Oh, I miss GLaDOS. Oh, seizures are scary. I've never had one personally, but... I've had one, two, three different friends have seizures on more than three occasions around me. So I always know what to do. And I had one not piercing client, but the parent of the piercing client have a seizure. Um, so it's scary. It's actually scary for the people, like that's what people say. It's scarier for the people around you because you just black out and you don't know what happened. Um, Unless you're having, like, full, um, like, um, conscious seizures, like, with, like, one limb, which is different, but still scary. You can't control your limb. The human body is a hot mess. Whoever designed that should be fired. I do remember your neighbor telling me that, and I was very worried about you around that time. That was when I was worried if I didn't hear from you, I wouldn't okay, what you doing hear from you again. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say Apple. Apple. No. No. Simple word. Apple. No. Just say Apple. Classic. Very simple. No. A double P L E. I like how he's replying to me shaking my head. Isn't it? Apple. No. How would you use it in a sentence? Mmm, this apple's crunchy, you might say. 
I'm not even asking you for the whole sentence, just the word apple. That's why I know, it. I knew it was the dude. Okay, you know There's I'm only two dudes like... that sound like that. And it's this dude and a younger guy that's out of death of a funeral. He's the dude in the toilet roll scene that's taken the acid. And he's like, join the others. He sounds very much like him, but he, this guy's got a thicker accent. This is not a relaxation center. We jump out. Damn it, Steve. Oh, Steve. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Fucking yours, Steve! Ah, no, I hear that one. I hear that one. Yeah, you fucking would. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the Fucking other side idiot, the Steve. It's one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Did we get to the... Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. I know who you're talking about. It did say it on Google that it is Stephen Merchant, but let's just like double check this. Um, so, um, fuck, what was I watching the other day? Who sounds very much like him? Russell, uh, Russell Howard. Is that who you're thinking of, Steve? Russell. Howard, he sounds very much like him, like Stephen Merchant. Um, and that is this guy. Let's just share our old Google image. Oh, Google image page. See if that. Oh fuck, maybe we can't. Uh, copy image link. This is the dude that's from the movie called Death at a Funeral. It's fucking old, but it's hilarious. And he's like the partner, like he's the husband, I think, of someone and he's got anxiety. And at the start, he takes something that he thinks is Valium, but it's acid and he's tripping the whole funeral and he's on the toilet and he's got the toilet roll, like, join the others. Let's see if we can find that. Wait, what? Ellen McLean. Does that, is that another, why, how do these people sound like very similar, but so unique? Pretty sure it's him. Death at a funeral? I don't think anyone's actually clipped this. <gasps> it's so it's best scenes. I'm going to share this with you guys. I'm just going to make sure it's in English. We're on our way to a funeral, you wanker! Don't you have any respect? Yeah, cool. We're on our way to a funeral, you wanker! <laughs> It's just got clips from it with weird subtitles in I don't know what language. So have fun with that, fam. Pop this here. Okay, I'm going to Google Ellen McLean now because I need to see that person's face. 
We're getting a little bit distracted from Portal 2, but that's fine. We'll get there. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, it does say that Stephen Merchant is from Portal 2, though. Now, Google. Ellen. Oh, Google, yep. Ellen McLean, American voice actress. Oh, yeah, that's GLaDOS. Glad GLaDOS, yeah, I miss her. This is Stephen Merchant, which is why I miss GLaDOS. <laughs> she was way better. Now we'll just see what happens. There we go. Now I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that little jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. No. All right, off you go. Mm -mm. Go on, just march on through that hole. Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead. I know, I know. I have painted quite a grim picture of your chances, but if you simply stand here, we will both surely die. So, once again, just move along. One small step and everything. Okay, fuck yeah. That's the spirit. Thanks for nothing, fucking Stephen. Stephen Merchant. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh, we are a person again. I thought we were a robot. Can we... What? Yeah, they've really looked after it since the last game. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Aperture Science! Aperture Science! <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't... Um, I don't want to, uh, say it on stream. I can if you want, though. You are simply experiencing I was giving you a bit of anonymity. Emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. What? This place is not nice. We need this. Right, you. 
that change to somewhere else? Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a button in there. What? <gasps> That's what we need? I think we just figured out what it was doing. And... Did we not get a portal gun? Oh... Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment... I know your name is Steve, silly. I was trying to give you anonymity. Anonymity? Trying to keep you anonymous. But I'm glad you're doing well. Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> Aperture science. Meow, 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 currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to it. What? Is that the boss that we gotta fight? Would make sense. Some big crazy robot made it like this. Hey, you made it! Yay! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Where? I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Oh go, 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 fucking go, go, go. hell! Oh yeah. No, it Sorry, fucking. On, just it's not there. Oh, your dog. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. And I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. <laughs> I'll, wait, I'll wait one hour. Then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Oh, you right, shithead, buddy. Steve. I fucking kill you, Steve. Remind me to use my portals when I get stuck. <laughs> Wait, what? Did we just walk up this bit? Where are we trying to go? Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Is this the back where we started area? <laughs> the back where we started area. That's where we gotta go? I mean... Good. If you think oh. a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Is that... Future science entitlement associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. That's a complaint against the robot, Steve. Oh, fucking hell. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three. Oh, two, nice. One.
The jazz stopped. Buffed. Down here? There's only one of you. Oh, there's one up there. Stay there. Oh. Hmm. Great work. Ah. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Oh. Did we miss something? Oh, it just didn't open. Knock knock joke. Throw it at us. Oh, my coffee's getting cold. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. There's never any cake anymore, is there? Not that there ever was! Whee! That was cool. Okay, let's... Press your button. What? Huh. <laughs> we do it. What are you? Oh. Oh. Are we gonna press that button again? Wait, what? Then we can't get up there. Dang. Why can't you have two boxes? Damn. That mean that there's another box.
Oh, I can't get up there. Oh, what's up there? More buttons. And you open you. And that. <gasps> Second box. Where did it go? What? Oh, I see. I fell in the water. Okay. Yay! Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. Knock All knock. Your science personality constructs will remain functional when, in where? a low power environment of as few as 1.1. Hi there. How you doing, Pi? We love you. Hope you're feeling better than yesterday, at the very least. So even just just a little bit. I think we're gonna have to be RB because our coffee went cold. Get something else to sip on. Whoops. <laughs> applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the Yay. Of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. I like to fold three portals. That's what we gotta do then. So if we shoot it here. What do you mean? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's we still need a box. <laughs> we thought we did so good then. Whoa, where's the box? <laughs> well, won't open because you were where we came through. But there's no box. Where is the box? Oh, it's over there. How Are we supposed to fall into the box? Hello. Okay, I see. Wait a minute. We 
did it! You are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Oh shit. Sometimes it's nice to um have an alone day just to process everything and you know do whatever the fuck you want to do. Okay, so there's a portal there. Probably want to jump out of that one. Hello, where's the floor? <laughs> Now, this guy... Hmm. There's nowhere to portal here, though. Oh, we jumped down through that one again. Can we? I hope so. <sighs> now what? Oh, we're in the same spot though. We gotta shoot the portal somewhere else. Oh, up there. How are we supposed to get in there, though? Is there something else? Break that. Like, drop you on it. I wish I could just like smash it. Hmm. 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 Oh my god, bullshit. I thought you had to break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, true. You totally could if you wanted to. Um, maybe here? Whoa. I don't think we're supposed to be able to land here. Hi. Yeah, floating. I want to move. We might not make it. How can we get higher? Unless we jump from higher. For that. Oh, I see. But how? Where's a higher ledge and how do we get there? We 
Wish I could go around that one. We can't jump from here, surely. I don't know. Okay. No, we can't jump from there. <laughs> Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, bold, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. <laughs> To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Where's... Oh, yeah, there he is. I was wondering where Steve is. What do you want, Steven? Brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Fucking... Bastard? Saying my brain damaged? Come on through. Okay, listen, let me... Lay something on you here, it's pretty heavy. They told me, never, never, ever, to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But, we're out of options here, so, get ready to catch me. All right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. I don't, am I actually supposed to catch it? On three. Ready? Where? Well. One. Two. Three. That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. Ow. Ow. Oh, we were supposed to press A. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? No. Just do it. I can't, I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> You can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right open. While well, your back was turned. Pick me up. What? Well, let's get out of here. And off we go. I don't like you. <laughs> Where are we supposed to go? Oh, some kind of. What? Why can't I put you down? What about the secret panel? Oh, we've got to go behind it. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, Bit off track. The rail, actually. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Yes. Hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Free Don't care. shoot us. Keep moving. Keep moving. Hello. I do like this little Steven dude. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Is it GLaDOS? Call it quits and we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Oh, this is Gladys's chamber. There she is. We what killed a nasty her. piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna Us. believe this. A human. I know. 
I know, I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was uh -huh. a long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Down these stairs. Jump. Ah, okay. So we woke up like, what, years or months after? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got... You've got... Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Not creepy at all. Ah, I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I just done it again. I just done it again. <laughs> this is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look for something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at, <laughs> or look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God is quoting God. Oh, look at that. It's turning. This is God just quoting God. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. No, it uh -oh. makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Hey. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Um, Are you powering GLaDOS up? Um, you fucking dighead. There's a, there's a dighead. You're literally powering her up again. A, 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 um, A. A, 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 C. Fucking hell, Steven! What do you think you're fucking doing? Look at her! Power up, complete. She's awake! I'm fucking ditching you, cunt. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? This is awkward. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is your fault, Steven. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. <laughs> but I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. You're the monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. I did miss GLaDOS. Wait, what do we have to take care of first? Okay, we're going back down to the bottom of the testing rooms. Below the testing rooms? I'm gonna have to burn Steven for this too now. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing. Just like old time. <laughs> oh, don't fall in the fire. Is that it? No. That's one of those, hello! Yeah, was it supposed to blow up? Are we burning? There it is. Hold on. There. Oh, GLaDOS. You, you creepy bitch! I miss you! you. Area up ahead. Oh, good. Thank you, GLaDOS. Wow. 
Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. You want me to go through there? Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. <gasps> I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. <laughs> I'm a bigger person than that. Revenge! Behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you are back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. This is Have fine! I might take a bottle. Yeah, no, this is <laughs> fine. <laughs> Is it all going to be fucked, or is she going to secretly somehow have a brand new room ready to go? What are you going to do, GLaDOS? We're going to test in the rubble! Here we go, the cold boot. Chapter 2. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. But you really I'm have. Thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. <laughs> right. We need the laser to go there. Oh, I see. And then? Oh, because I ruined it. I see. We can jump that, surely. Nailed it. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. Yeah, you pretty good. Pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Good. We are going to call it soon, though, because it's nearly time for us to go to our family dinner. And... Yeah. But we'll do an, one more challenge, I reckon. And then we'll see who's on for a raid. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There oh, we just got to jump over it. You want the laser to hit that, but you can't put a portal there. 
oh, you want a cube there. But how do you get the cube? How do you get the cube? Good. No. There we go. <laughs> Where are you going? Hey? Can I say hello? Dinner as it's 2.30 in the morning here. Nice. So super late dinner or super early breakfast? Well, it will be like 6.37 dinner because it's 5.30 here. Look at this cutie patootie. Look how big he is. He turns one next month. He's 11 months old. Hi, Lincoln. Have you got Togepi? You cuddled up with Togepi. Yeah. It'll, oh, hey, Venka. Lincoln is so cute. Hey, Lincoln's usually his naughty name. Hey, Link. If he's in trouble, he's like, he gets Lincoln. Um. Yeah, and yeah, family dinner will be really fun. Oh, he's gonna do the paws. Sometimes, like, he'll like suck on my robe too. He'll be like, Hey, but I've got a gray blanket that's like a little bit more plushy, like, it's got longer hairs in it. Oh, he needs a good cuddle. <laughs> Um, and he likes to suck on the blanket more than my robe, but he likes the robe. Hey. Because he was a caesarean. Fix you a plate of the roast or the robe? Because <laughs> Lincoln's got the robe. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait for roast tonight for dinner. We might leave it there because he's going to get sad if I go back to playing my game without giving him a big smooch. Hey, Bubba. This is usually the time where, like, like we'll be watching TV. Like, after streaming, I'll usually, like, put the TV on and we'll watch TV and he'll just, like, curl up on me and then, like, most of the time we'll fall asleep until dinner. And he'll wake me up at like 7.30 because I usually feed them at 8. So he'll wake me up at 7.30 and I'll get up, slowly wake up, feed them, feed myself. <laughs> hey, when we have our afternoon naps. He's snuggled up in my bedrobe and, um, and my Mac Miller jumper. <laughs> Yeah, so he was a cesarean um, rescue. Uh, basically, my cousin is a um, vet nurse, at, but she's also the manager of her practice. So she's in charge of, like, the vets' rosters and everything as well. Um, but they're all really good friends and stuff. And um, basically, this boy's mama... Their family came in and didn't even realize she was pregnant, I think. They just thought she was really sick, like feeling really sick and like, yeah. So, but she she was pregnant with Link and one other um, who ended up being called Charlie. Hey, your brother's name is Charlie. Um, so, but they couldn't afford to pay for the cesarean. So basically, I think to save the cat, the mama cat, and this bubba and his brother, the vets there did the cesarean free of charge, but because they couldn't pay for it, they were like, look, and they couldn't pay for the kittens either. 
Um, so the vet took in the kittens and did the cesarean. Um, they obviously build the the family what they what they could and what they should, but um, yeah, they didn't bill them for the cesarean and then um, put like kept these two um, and hand reared them. So he's been hand reared from a baby in a bottle with a bottle and he will like he loves belly scratches so um he'll like roll over for belly scratches like he would probably flip over right now if he was on the floor and be like rub my belly <laughs> yeah he's beautiful hey eh? but yeah he um he suckles that long very long story short is he suckles on blankets and he does all kinds of really cute things because he was raised by a human mama and then I've had him since he's been eight weeks old. So I've been his mama ever since then. And he's just like, yeah, he can tell when I'm sad. He'll sit on me and like, like, he'll almost like be like, bitch, you need a nap. <laughs> Cuddle me. <laughs> So he'll sit on me and we'll fall asleep and then we'll both wake up feeling better. Hey, Link. He's a magical kitty. He's so magical. So he's my, like, smoochy familiar boy. And I have another cat. Her name is Wednesday. She's very shy. She's also a rescue, but she was a stray. So she is almost the opposite. She's scared to be picked up. She doesn't like, you know, unless she's fully like, oh, sometimes because she's seen Lincoln have nice big belly scratches. Sometimes she'll have a belly scratch. But she's three turning four in April, and she's only just started liking belly scratches. So, um, Link's actually been a really amazing addition to the family, like both myself as a therapy cat and my other cat as a therapy cat. <laughs> um, I also have a pug. Her name is Puka. And she is turning seven this year. And they do they get along. Um, Lincoln and her get along and they play chases. Wednesday and her they're kind of just like acquaintances, you know. Um, but yeah, when Puka, when I let Puka in the whole house and they have play, like play time, it's crazy in here. It's just like, oof. Link and Puka are just running back and forth in my tiny unit. It's the perfect size unit though. Um, you wouldn't want it any bigger or smaller for these guys. Oh, he's going to come and say goodbye before we jump off. Hey, want to say goodbye to people? Come here. Mm -hmm. Can you say goodbye? Pop your paws up here. Yeah. Oh, you're a good boy. No lotion for Link. He's actually quite good at not doing the lotion. Um. But Puka, the pug, obsessed, as you are aware. Hey, can't have lotion on your legs around her, hey. She'll want to lick it all off. Okay, he seems to be wanting to get playful now. So we're going to go play some games before my little brother comes and picks, picks us up. We'll go get your little, you know, the little cat wand. He's got one with a fish on it, so we'll get that out. Hey. Thank you for hanging out, fam. Um, we're going to keep the variety streaming going. So we'll play Portal 2 again in like three or four days. We've got the four games rotating that we're going to keep doing. And we are going to add in some nano blocks soon again too because um, we've got some cool ones from Christmas and ones that we have to rebuild since we moved. So. Have sweet dreams. Good night, Pi. Good night, Leafy. Good night, Venka. Good night, everybody else. I don't know if Janky's still here. Good night, Janky. I know Steve was here at the start, but he ducked out. So thank you for hanging out, Steve. 
And thanks for hanging out, everyone else. I think uh, Janky passed out. Nice. Oh, that's good. We got him off to sleep. Um, I hope there's no one I didn't mention, but if there is, thank you for hanging out. Have a good night. Have good sleeps. And um, we will see you on another time. And, yeah, take care. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Have a good fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> we keep forgetting to use the counters, but they're there for when we want to, so... <laughs> okay, bye fam! Yee! Love you!